happy spring break. If you're visiting Universal Orlando for your spring break this year, then watch this video because I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to make the most of your spring break time right here in the parks. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. All right, we have a lot to talk about today, so let's get started with number one. If you're visiting during spring break, you have to expect crowds. So that is my number one tip. Plan for high crowds accordingly. You know, you're not going to be able to walk on every ride because there are going to be probably a lot of people here. So you might want to consider getting the Universal Express Pass, but higher crowds means higher prices. So tickets, Express Pass are going to cost more. Keep this in mind when you're booking your trip. I say this in pretty much every tip and trick universal video, but it's really important if you're looking at getting that express pass, look into staying at a premier hotel, Royal Pacific, Portofino Bay, or the Hard Rock Hotel, all on Universal Orlando property. If you stay at one of these hotels, you can get the express pass included in your stay. If you need help planning your universal vacation or want to price a vacation out, be sure to check out theparkprodigy.com. I'll link it in the description and use the code the Crystal Palace 10 to save at checkout. So we're over in Islands of Adventure right now and this is a park that you are going to want to do for early park admission because it has the most popular rides, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure and the Velocicoaster. So if you're staying at a Universal on-site hotel, you'll be able to enter one hour early. And in that one hour is critical time, especially for riding Hagrid's because that line will always be so long throughout the day. And my tip for early park admission is to make sure you're arriving to the gates 30 to 45 minutes before early park admission even begins. This way you're literally the first ones in line to get into the park for the day. And you'll see there is like a mad dash sprint. Get your get ready. You're not supposed to sprint, but people do to Hagrid's. There are only a few rides open for early park admission. That is the, all the ones in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and the Velocicoaster. So the rest of the park, like the Hulk, will open at 9 a.m. So if you're starting your morning at Islands, my honest tip would be to do the Wizarding World of Harry Potter first, right? If you're in line, if you're first in line to get into the park in the morning, you're gonna do Hagrid's, you're gonna do Flight of the Hippogriff and Forbidden Journey, then go over to the Velocicoaster. And then the rest of the park will be open by then. So you're gonna hit Kong and then you're gonna hit all the rides in Marvel Superhero Island. I actually did a four hour challenge riding as many rides as I can in four hours. So if you wanna check that out, check it out, but it's kind of a good park plan if you wanna follow it. During spring break in 2024, there's actually going to be a cheerleading competition right here in the Toon Lagoon Theater. So that means that this Toon Lagoon area and this park is going to be very crowded on those days because the cheerleading competition is going to be literally inside of the park. So just keep your eye on that if you're visiting during those times. Beware, maybe you want to go over to studios. It's going to bring a lot more crowds. If you're visiting during spring break and you're a Universal Orlando annual pass holder, don't forget about the pass holder lounge. This could be a great place to refresh, relax, cool off, charge your phone, bring a portable charger, or bring a little charger with a USB so you can plug in in the pass holder lounge and just hang out, relax away from the crowds. If you're coming during spring break, you might want to ride some of the water rides. It's going to be pretty hot, so dress light, be prepared for the warm temperatures, and maybe ride some water rides. These aren't your average water rides either. You are going to get absolutely soaking wet on them. Maybe you want to bring a poncho for the rides or a change of socks or maybe plan to go back to your hotel after you ride them all. There are three big ones here in Islands of Adventure. This is Dudley do Rips Rips Off Falls. There's Popeye and Bluto's Bill Drat Barges and the Jurassic Park River Adventure. So we're actually going to hop on Rain, Skull Island Reign of Kong because they took the 3D effects off this ride. So I just am curious to see how it is. Let's do it. And fun fact, they used to have scare actors in the queue of this ride that would scare you while you're waiting in line. But they took it out before the pandemic and they haven't returned. All right, we just got off Kong without the 3D effects. Honestly, it was still a good ride. The screens were clear. You don't feel as immersed as you do with the 3D, but I still love it. That Kong animatronic is just unmatched. It's so good and it's raining. So the KP rain curse, you, you know, it couldn't be. It just couldn't be no rain. So that's right. We're living. Thumbs up. If you're coming for spring break, 
like I said, you're going to probably experience high crowds. But a tip for eating is to try to eat at off-peak times. This isn't even open yet. <laughs> That's why there's nobody here. But... If you eat earlier in the morning, like maybe 11, that's when all these lunch places open, 11 or even later, like after the lunch rush, 1231, you're gonna be a lot better off and you're gonna be thankful because these lunch lines get insane. Especially here we're at Burger Digs, this gets very crowded. My recommendation is Thunder Falls Terrace, you can mobile order and they have really delicious food there. Not your basic like theme park food, they have rotisserie chicken, they have salads. I love it there, it's my personal favorite. But that's another thing, mobile ordering is absolutely a key to visiting Universal Orlando. They actually just updated the Universal Orlando app, so it's a little better, it runs a little better. And mobile ordering, you connect your credit card right to the app. You put in what you want and you just pick it up or you get it delivered to your table. It's a perfect solution. Here's the most popular ride, the Jurassic World Velocicoaster. And even though it's drizzling right now, the ride still is running. So as long as there's no lightning or really heavy rain or winds, these roller coasters will still try to run. All right, a little change of plans. We're going to be hopping over to Universal Studios because it's raining and we're just gonna get on the Flower Roots Express really quick. Universal just announced all the details coming to DreamWorks Land coming this summer. So that's why we're gonna go hop over there. I'm gonna hop on a live stream. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it in the description down below just to talk about all the new exciting details that are coming. Until then, for this video, we'll be right back. Okay, the thing about the Hogwarts Express is sometimes the wait times are way off. That was not a 10 minute wait, so we don't have time. I set a live stream for 1045. You guys are seeing like behind the scenes a real time of me panicking. Um, so we're just going to walk over to Universal. So I guess the good thing is I can show you if you're coming here during spring break, how easy it is to park hop from one park to the other. It's so close it's probably about like a five to ten minute walk depending on how fast you walk but that's great because if there's a lot of crowds in one park and you want to hop over to the other park or you want to ride just one ride in one park and you have that park hopper ticket you can get it done super quick if you're planning on coming during spring break you might experience mardi gras now it ends on april 7th so if you're spring breaks in march lucky you you get to experience the fun of universal's mardi gras Mardi Gras has a concert on select nights on the weekends. They also have a parade every night. It just makes it a lot of fun. They also have food booths and fun drinks throughout the park in Universal Studios, Florida. So if you're visiting during Mardi Gras, you're guaranteed to have a great time. And it's just an added bonus to your spring break vacation because it is free and it's included in your park ticket. You don't have to pay extra to enjoy the fun. If you're coming during spring break, the weather might be unpredictable. It's pretty much unpredictable at all times in Florida. So you want to plan accordingly. This can also be a good way to save money too. You might hit some rain. So bring your own ponchos, order from Amazon, some cheap ponchos. It'll be perfect. Bring an umbrella if that's what you want to do. And ponchos are probably the best bet because it's easier to move around, walk around. You don't have to carry it as well. Also, like I mentioned, it's going to be hot, so dress light and maybe pack a light jacket as it could get chilly at night when the sun goes down. There are a lot of great quick service options in the parks. However, if you have the time, make a dining reservation for a restaurant out in City Walk. I love doing this because it's a great break from the crowds, from the heat, especially on those hot days. And during spring break, you're gonna wanna make a reservation just to ensure that, you know, you're gonna have somewhere to eat. <laughs> It's also important to kind of plan and know where you might want to eat. So this way you're not starving and wandering around looking for somewhere to get food and I don't know, just, just be prepared to your research. If you watch the Crystal Palace, you'll be prepared. So we're headed back to Islands of Adventure and that's how easy it is to park up. You guys, you can see the entrance is right down there. It's super quick, convenient to get back and forth. Of course, you can take the Hogwarts Express as well. And if you ride the Hogwarts Express both ways, they have a different experience each time. And riding it from Universal Studios Florida to Islands of Adventure, you can actually walk through platform nine and three quarters. So we are back at Islands to eat at Circus McGurkis. This is a lunch quick service spot that has been closed for quite a bit, but it's reopened now, so we're gonna check it out. So they did get a new menu. It's kind of a Minion Cafe style where they'll seat you at a seat and then You'll order on your Universal Orlando app and they will bring food right to your table, which is a really cool method. It's super cute in here and the high in the sky Seuss Trolley train ride actually goes through the restaurant. So those chicken tenders were really good. They were like actually actual chicken 
not like you know your typical theme park chicken tenders you get it was thick it was meaty it was just really good you don't get a lot you've only got three but i like how it has the option to order it without the hot honey if you want it that way but my problem with this place is they don't have mr pib or dr pepper in the coke free slot machines and that's major for me and it's cute in here it's nice to have another quick service option in islands of adventure so if you want to check it out definitely do in Seuss Landing. I'm so upset. This fountain has pib. This one doesn't. What the heck is that about? Are you kidding me? I went to that one and I got coke. Why would they do that? Why? I actually don't understand why one would have it and why one wouldn't. Uh, but I like these cups. These are the same as they have in Minion Cafe. You can refill them and they're pretty big. Circus McGurkis also has a mobile order and drink pickup window. So if you, for some reason, don't want to sit inside and eat, you can go to this window right here and pick up your mobile order. It's just a quick, convenient, easy way to grab some Circus McGurkis treats. And those were probably the best chicken fingers I've had in Universal Orlando, just to let you know. So the quickest way to get to Hagrid's, you're going to enter through Seuss Landing, right? Don't go straight towards Cat in the Hat. Go left, it'll send you around Seuss Landing, and that is a more direct way to get to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and get on your rides as fast as possible. If you're coming for spring break, you'll definitely see a lot of characters out and about, so be sure to stop and take some pictures with them. Oh, look! Hi! <laughs> is it because we're matching? <laughs> is that why? Hi! Oh, they Yay! Thanks! Bye! <laughs> They're always so fun, all the character meet and greets. If the parks are too crowded or maybe you had enough of riding coasters, you might want to consider visiting Volcano Bay during spring break. Now it might be a little crowded on hot days, but I visited Volcano Bay for the first time. Be sure to check that video out and had so much fun. I would highly recommend it. it was, I, think, I think it would be a great time for spring break. You're coming down with friends. You want to have fun in the sun, visit Volcano Bay. Lastly, be prepared. There might be some ride closures during your visit, but don't let this get you down. Just think of it as a way that you'll have to return to Universal Orlando as soon as you possibly can. And trust me, you're definitely going to want to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.